the government uh, has denied claims and you'll apologize for that, <laughs> it's a live bulletin. The, the government has denied claims that there are plans to rig the general election. Government spokesperson Mudui Karyoki has dismissed the allegations that were leveled by the court coalition. In a rejoinder, however, court secretariat insists that the claims are valid and that the election could be compromised. KTN's Asha Mwilu reports. It is, ladies and gentlemen, such uh, reckless, irresponsible, are the immature statements by politicians that almost destroyed this country in 2007-2008. This was the government's swift response to allegations leveled by the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy called that top government officials were planning to compromise the outcome of the general election. In its strong accusations, the court secretariat claimed that the head of public service, Francis Kimemia, NIS director Michael Gishangi, and the chief of defense forces, Julius Karangi, have been involved in partisan activities to influence the outcome of the poll in favor of one presidential candidate. And here we want to say very clearly, the man coordinating is the head of the civil service, Kimemia. And we are telling him, hey, mister, follow the law. These concerns were, however, not received lightly by the state. In turn, the government went into defense mode, reprimanding the prime minister's campaign team over the claims. Those allegations by the Code Alliance are a part of a political strategy by the alliance to reject the elections should that outcome not favor them. Unfortunately, the script is beginning to become too familiar. In a quick rejoinder, however, court dismissed the government spokesperson statement. ODM's chief campaign strategist Eliud Owalo sent a statement to newsrooms stating, and I quote, we have raised pertinent issues touching on the aforementioned officers. Let them respond to them in their individual capacities. These are very serious allegations directed at senior government officials who unfortunately cannot engage the prime minister in a public altercation. And as this blame game continued, the issue of politicians using state resources and offices for their campaigns was yet to be addressed. This letter from the Commission on Administrative Justice was to serve as a warning to the Prime Minister and other politicians against the use of state resources for campaigns. By Sunday evening, however, the official website of the Prime Minister's office was still bearing campaign material for Prime Minister Rai Laudinga's court coalition. The Commission's major concern is that the government is not keen on clamping down on those notorious for using public resources to advance their political ambitions. President Kibaki was seen using government vehicles during his recent visit at his Odaya constituency, where he openly campaigned for Gishoki Mogambi. It's only a fortnight to the general election, and with the political arena heating up, Kenyans are now observing keenly how top security organs will handle such strong political statements. Asham Wilu, KTN, Sunday night.